All right, meteorologist Team Davidson, the weather pros, liveweatherblogs.com. We're going to be talking about the next few days here, and we're going to be looking at the weather pattern. As you see right now, we have what's left of Julia still rotating around down by South Carolina. The upper level low and that low uh, surface will combine and then dissipate. You can also see Carl moving in here on this frame. You can see Carl. But Carl's going to move towards Bermuda and and then out. So, as you see, we get a cold front that comes starts coming in, come across the area for this weekend, and this is going to be a real solid fall weather pattern coming. As you see, this cold front moves through the area. We're going to get high pressure in behind this. It's going to get nice and cool, and we're going to be talking about temperatures in the 60s and 70s instead of 70s and 80s and forget about 90s if we get a deepening low then cut off later next week which could be a interesting pattern setting up for a little bit more wet weather this is for the days of October 1st so a week from this weekend as you can see this could be a wet pattern if this picks up and continues we also got to watch, you can see there's a couple possible tropical systems trying to get their way uh, down near Florida and Texas. So we got to keep an eye on that also. So what you're going to see here is a down and close model for the northeast and mid-Atlantic. You see some showers and thunderstorms trying to come through the upstate New York area. Couple showers still circling into North Carolina, still circling into parts of Virginia, not as much though, as Julia continues to move away. As you see, some light showers across central Pennsylvania as a cold front is trying to push through by the time we get into Sunday, which will occur. And you can see it gets down to Virginia and it's back where cold front just pushes straight through the area. Some showers, possibly thunderstorm on Saturday before it moves totally through the Virginias. As we'll bring down cool air and then we'll get reinforced cool air with the next cold front. So something we can definitely look forward to here on the East Coast. So cooler temperatures and eventually we may get into a wet pattern here on the East Coast. Meteorologist Dean Davidson, the weather pros. Thanks for watching.